so I mean, we played a good second half, um, and uh, and it was a good win. I mean, that's uh, that's the best, probably the best win that we've had so far. Uh, a lot of guys played well, and um, you know, it's good to win a close game like that. So it's also the first time we've won two in a row, and, and hopefully we can build on that on Sunday. Well, if you know how important Terrence is to this team and, and Evan making shots, when, when both of them are making shots the way they were, how much better does that make your offense? Mm -hmm. And T. Ross had that stretch where, you know, I think he scored 11 in a row or, you know, 11 out of 13. Um, and, uh, you know, I thought also Markell had the stretch where he got the ball going to the basket and made a bunch of plays, finishes early in the third quarter. Uh, that got us going back in the game, too. Steve, what kind of lift did Farouk give you guys? Terrific. I mean, um, look, Farouk is a very good player, and, um, and I told him this the other day, is he's also, I think, for the way we play, and my vision of what a good player is, he's a good player. I just, you know, I've got to figure out how to play with certain lineups on the floor and that's where we were struggling. It's not, it's not a question of is he a good player. It's just me piecing the lineups together. And you can see his value. I mean, I could say this is the second game where he was one of the two or three most important players in a home win. Because Cleveland, I think, would have been similar to that. Coach, uh, down 16 points at one point in the second quarter, it seemed like there was a lot more heart and hustle after uh, halftime. What was your message to the guys? No, I mean, they, you know, the pro players, they, you know, they know. I mean, we, um, I, and I think, to be, to be honest with you, it started in the first quarter with the turnovers. You know, when you have five turnovers in 12 minutes, I don't care. And people say sometimes, it's like missing a bunch of open shots. People say, ah, oh, it's, it's the energy. Well, you know, it zaps your energy. And when you're turning the ball over five times in 12 minutes, it's hard to play well. And that's where it started. Um, and then the second half, we did a lot better job taking care of the ball. Like it, it, the turnovers and missing open shots are, you know, are two things that for any team, again, it zaps your energy. Steve, we should see Hetzel and, and, and Evan work every day after practice. How mm -hmm. much confidence is he shooting with now? You know, the, mm -hmm. the work he puts in after practice. Oh, uh, no, I mean, he's, he, he, I think that you can see it these last few games. I mean, he's, he's in rhythm and, um, but he had two. This, the second one he had was the one going to his right on the sideline. There was a very, very difficult shot. And obviously, that was the biggest shot of the game. Coach, seven of your players have these, had at least 10 points. How important is to have a wide variety of players on offense to score the basketball? Yeah, no question. I mean, uh, you know, we were balanced. And, um, and again, I think our defense was, you know, better in the second half, too. Coach, rebound disparity, 48 to 41. Do you believe this was the key to the victory? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, we're plus five on second chance points, so I would say it's definitely one of them, for sure. Coach, you uh, you said to yourself after the Indiana game, you know, your roster, the personnel, you know, guys don't get to the free throw line a lot. Then you look at the free throw disparity tonight, you know, you marched the free throw line 34 times, 27 makes. Was that a product of being active on the offensive glass, coming downhill, just playing with purpose? What was I, I think all of that. I think the one thing, we're playing faster, and um, that's helping us. You know, we're getting more attacks before the defense gets set. I think Markel is driving the ball more, he's getting more comfortable getting the ball going to the basket, which gives guys, you know, open lanes to, uh, you know, to get to the basket also. Um, well, he shot seven free throws, I mean, that's a lot. And then, you know, and AG, the same thing, you know, he got to the line, so. And I think Farouk's were more just hustle plays, like you're saying, second shots, loose balls like that. But then, I mean, it would be, you know, last year we were 29th, I believe, in getting to the free throw line. And, um, you know, it would be good if we could even be like middle of the pack. Good, good. Josh. Thank you. Yeah, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, you know, the play was for Vooch, but, you know, they did a great job just crowding me on the pass. Uh, then Vooch.
you know, adapted to the to the flat pick oh and roll. And, uh, I think it was like five seconds left. I was uh, in the corner, so it, it wasn't really much uh, options for me. So I just had to shoot. You've said losing JI, you're down 16. This probably was the best win of the season. How how significant is this for you? Yeah, it's a good win, but you know, I think we have to learn from it. It's, um, you know, we started the game just being uh, not soft, but like we. We weren't aggressive enough. Uh, like we played like it was just another game for us. When, you know, uh, we're good when we're super aggressive, and, 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 and you know we're the underdogs and, and all that. And we just didn't play like that. You know, during that first half, and when we made that run in the third quarter, that's, that's basically all that changed. Uh, we just had that work. Mm -hmm. What kind of lift did Farouk give you guys? He was good. He, he was really good. He was really aggressive on the board. Uh, I, you know, I thought he stepped up really well. Uh, you know, happy for him. Uh, and, and, and you know, that's 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 that's, that's what good team does. You know, when you have a guy down, uh, you know, the next one is is stepping up and playing well. Yeah, can you talk about your confidence level? We see you working every day after practice. I know you used to work before, but I mean, the, the groove you're in right now, you found the last three games, you're really shooting well. Yeah, yeah. Um, like I said, I have confidence in my work. Uh, you know, it's still me, but, um, Like I said, I have a better idea of where my shots are going to come from, so it's easier for me to just work on those shots. Uh, to understand the offense, and uh, yeah. The, uh, when, when T. Ross is doing what he's doing, he's such a big part of your guys' yeah. team last year. When he gets it rolling, does that kind of alleviate the pressure from everybody else? It spreads the defense out? I wouldn't say uh, relief pressure. It's just that, uh, you know, when we finish the game with Jeff, uh, with uh, T. Ross and I, and, and, you know, we both make shots, and he makes shots, and, you know, it, it just spreads the floor, and, it, you know, it gives us more, more up, uh, up opportunity, you know, when AG is at the four. And you know, under two, two three, three. Uh, you know, it feels like the paint is open for Vuce, and you know, it's good, it's good. Uh, I think it was the lineup that we we we, we, we mostly ended games last year. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's it's a lineup we are comfortable with, and uh, you know, yep, it's good. Vuce said he thought the World Cup gave you your groove back. You agree with him on that? On that? I mean, like I said last year, you know, I've, I've, you know, it was a, mo a lot of reasons uh, why I had the year that I had. <laughs> but yeah, I think j just being free of that, just just you know, uh, playing for my country, just just kind of think about something else and just like uh, flush, uh, flush it down the toilet, mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. kind of re re regain um, energy and just confidence. Yeah, it was was definitely great for me. Yeah. Cool. Thank you. Thank Shooting you. issues yeah. early in the season. T. Ross is doing what he's doing. And Evan shooting the way he is now. How much danger, more dangerous does that make your offense? Yeah, man. Guys are lethal shooters, man. Uh -huh. Great scores. Um, especially if Boots uh, doesn't really have it going. I don't really got it going offensively. You know, just for other people to step up and make big plays. You know? That's what T. Ross does. You know, he does it time and time again. Evan, too, man. They step up, knock down big shots. So um, we needed them tonight badly. Cliff said he thought that was the best win of the season because of all you had to fight through. You lose J.I., you're down 16 early. How, how big of a win was this? It was great, man. It was great. Um, so we were just talking about bringing the energy up on defense and staying patient on offense. And um, that's what we did, man. Everyone stayed patient. Uh, everyone played the game, let the game come to them. And then we had some big shot makers down the stretch. How pleased are you with the defense you played on DeRozan? He's obviously a very tough, somewhat, certainly very crafty cover. Yeah, I'm, I thought I did okay. You know, um, in the first half, I feel like it was a little too easy for him. Uh, in the second half, I uh, picked it up. Um, and then guys like Evan did a great job on him. Uh, Michael Carr Williams did a great job on him. Um, like I said, man, it's. it's uh, team uh, effort. You know, it's a concerted effort. It's not just one on one. What kind of adjustments were required with J.I. having to be out? Oh, well, I mean, Chief stepped up, man. So his next man up, he stepped up. He had an incredible game. Um, he uh, impacted the game all over the floor. It was a deflection, his rebound, scoring the ball. So you know, his next man up, and that's how we play. That's how his team is. And you the final game of the homestand. How important is it to, to close it out before you go on the road for nine days? Play Washington on Sunday. Um, 
It's important, man. It's important. So we just want to build momentum, keep building the streak, um, keep figuring out a way to play that's going to get us wins. Mm -hmm. We've asked you this before, but tonight he was especially effective. When Markel goes to the hoop like that, what kind of lift does it give your offense? Well, he's, he's big, you know, he's strong, he's athletic, and has a good touch around the rim. So uh, his ability to create for himself uh, makes our team that much more uh, lethal just because, you know, you, you got to look out for him. He score over two people at the rack. Nibble wasn't happy with himself last season the way he shot the ball, but we see him every day. You know, a lot of guys, he's putting in a ton of work on the shot. But what are you seeing with him when shooting? You know, that happens. It happens. You know, sometimes guys have down years. Um, but we know he's a scorer. We know he's a shooter. Uh, and he showed out tonight, man. So, without him, without him, he wouldn't have won. Thanks, man. Yeah. Thank you. How big a win was it for you? It was a big win you know, against a good team. I think obviously their record, you know, is not uh, doesn't represent how good of a team that they are, and uh, so it's hard to play against. Uh, the Spurs obviously everybody knows how good they are, how good they execute, and we got down, we fought back. Uh, I'm not sure we did we take lead before the fourth or no. Third, 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 and uh, but it was a hard for game until the end, and I really, you know, I think I thought we really competed both teams. You know, we just made plays towards the end. You know, Evan made some big shots. Ag made those big free throws on the flagrant one. Uh, so it was a huge win for us. Uh, you know, first time we win two in a row, and uh, it feels good for sure. The shot Evan made where he ducked behind you on the screen, where you set a screen, and he's moving to his right. How big of a, how difficult of a shot is that? And how big of a shot? A big, big shot for sure. Uh, you know, he had a game, and he, I mean, he. He's been good, you know, since he's been here for, for us in the end of the game with the shots, and uh, he made uh, that one was a big one, and he made one before as well. And uh, yeah, I mean, I uh, uh, think on the play, I was trying to post up, and then uh, they uh, took it away, so I went to the screen, and uh, yeah, he just came off, had a big shot, and uh, yeah, those two shots. What kind of adjustments were required when J.I. couldn't play? Oh, nothing. Just uh, put in Chief, and he did a great job. He completed his, uh, his ass off. Uh, you know, had a double-double, very great. Rebound the ball very well. Got an offensive blast as well. Defended hard. Uh, played a hell of a game. In the last game out, he maybe played a little bit, barely. And uh, tonight, you know, he came in ready, you know, when his name was called. And that's what the true pro is, you know, veteran. And we know that Chief can do that. So, a lot of credit goes to him. What kind of lift did Markel give you, especially give the team in the first three quarters going to the rim as, as forcefully as he did? Yeah, I mean, we, we can uh, I mean, definitely uh, use, you know, that strength of his when he does that. Uh, you know, he's, he gets to the rim, finish, you know, over you know, bigger guys as well, create for others, and uh, he was very good at that tonight. And uh, when he's aggressive like that, it opens up so much for our team. Look, uh, Evan wasn't happy with the way he shot it last year. We see him every day and he's putting him work. He's, you know, he's it's a time when he his back is getting loose. How much improvement have you seen with the way he shoots? Yeah, I mean, he's, I think the, the World Cup helped him a lot. I think it kind of gave his you know, back his groove. Uh, you know, it wasn't an easy year for him last year, and it's never easy when you go through, through offensive struggles. Uh, but he still did many good things for us. And uh, this year I'm happy that, you know, uh, he's uh, he's back from comfortable and uh, confident and you know, shooting the ball well because we need him to do that. But I really think that the World Cup, you know, he played great for his country. Mm -hmm. uh, really helped him a lot. Good to know. Thank, Thank you. Right. Thank you. You got it.